Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have to find limit when x approach infinity of 3x to the 4 power plus 5x cubed minus 10 over 6x to the 4 power minus 25. If you replace x's with infinity, you can end up with a form like this infinity over infinity. So we have to use another technique to find this limit. And uh, let me copy this problem first. And the first thing you want to do here is to factor out this x to the 4 power. And we're going to do the same thing for the denominator. So we're going to have here limit when x approach infinity. Like I said, I'm going to factor x to the 4 power. And then I have here 3 plus 5x cubed over x to the 4 power minus 10 over x to the 4 power. And like I said, the same thing for the denominator. We're going to factor out x to the 4 power. And we have 6 minus 25 over x to the 4 power. And let's see what's going on here. If you notice, these two guys cancel out. That's the reason we factor out. Then we can see this quotient. When x is getting larger and larger, this quotient is going to get closer to 0. The same about this guy. Now it gets closer to 0. What about 5x to the 4 power, a third power? over x to the 4 power. We can simplify here x to the third and we're going to simplify three x's here so the simplest form is going to be 5 over x and we're going to have the same type of behavior. When x is getting larger and larger this one is getting closer to 0. So this is going to also get closer to 0. So what we have left here is going to be 3 plus 0 minus 0 over 6 minus 0. So the limit will be let me copy again the problem. Will be nothing else than 3 over 6. That's the only thing left. Of course, this one can be simplified, and this is one half. And that's it. We can see the same type of uh, answer if you use a graphical approach. Once x is getting larger and larger and larger, the function is getting closer to this horizontal asymptote, which is y equals one half. Of course, you can use numbers like x equals 10, x equals 100. Plug them in and you'll notice the function is getting closer to one half. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.